I quit taking Togot Ali after 6 months. I was supplementing with this natural herb to see if it would boost my testosterone. And I noticed some interesting benefits. Improved energy, better concentration, and lower stress levels. But after my first 30 day experience, the benefits faded away and the risks that came with Tongat Ali increased. So Tongat Ali is an Indonesian ginseng plant. This plant is believed to have testosterone boosting effects that can potentially increase your muscle gains. The theory is that Tongat Ali frees up more of the usable testosterone in your body by activating the adrenal glands to produce more testosterone. And to be fair, there is research showing that Tongat Ali has a positive influence on testosterone. Like in this 2021 study that found a 20% testosterone boost when aging men took 200 mg of Tongat Ali daily. This meta-analysis of 5 studies about Tongat Ali and testosterone also concludes that Tongat Ali has the potential to slightly boost your testosterone. But here's the thing that most health influencers will not tell you about Tongat Ali. Its testosterone boosting effects are temporary. We can see this in a 2021 paper by Chen and colleagues. In the first 4 weeks of supplementing with Tongat Ali, testosterone levels increased by 11%. But from weeks 5 to 8 of taking Tongat Ali, testosterone levels dropped back down to baseline. It looks like Tongat Ali is not a supplement we should be taking long term to see a testosterone boost. In the first 30 days of taking Tongat Ali, you will typically feel something. But eventually, the herb does not seem to impact your testosterone as much. And your testosterone levels go back to normal. My experience with taking Tongat Ali goes in line with this research. When I first took Tongat Ali, I noticed some energy improvements, which could be related to a short-term testosterone boost. But after 30 days of taking Tongat Ali, I kind of just felt like I did before taking Tongat Ali. This is why generally the recommendation is to cycle your Tongat Ali intake if you want to experiment with a supplement. To get the benefits without experiencing a sudden dip in your energy, being 4 weeks on and 4 weeks off Tongat Ali makes sense. I personally stopped taking Tongat Ali altogether though, so I don't even do the 4 weeks on, 4 weeks off cycling anymore. And that's because Tongat Ali is mostly a supplement for aging males that had unhealthy testosterone levels. Almost all the research that shows Tongat Ali has a positive effect on testosterone was performed on elderly men with testosterone levels below the healthy range. Just because something works for elderly men with low testosterone does not mean that it will also improve your testosterone levels if you are a healthy, young or middle-aged man. The two studies we have on how Tongat Ali impacts testosterone levels in young males show mixed results. So Tongat Ali is not a reliable testosterone booster for young males. It can be considered a supplement with testosterone boosting potential for elderly men. If you have healthy testosterone levels between 300 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter, I would not bother with taking Tongat Ali long term. Especially because there's also limited research on the long term health effects of Tongat Ali. The available studies about Tongat Ali's effects on the body are a maximum of 6 month trials. In these studies, no negative health effects were found. This is also why I felt comfortable supplementing with Tongat Ali for up to 6 months. In some of the research papers though, a few participants did know the side effects, like increased itching and stomach discomfort when taking Tongat Ali. Only a small percentage of people experience these side effects when taking Tongat Ali for 6 months. But what if you take Tongat Ali for longer, like for a year or even 2 years, will there be other and more extreme side effects? We simply do not know because there are no studies on the long-term health effects. Online, you will come across personal experiences of people having some mild joint pain and even headaches when they take Tongat Ali for many months on end. A possible explanation for this is that Tongat Ali suppresses levels of the hormone estrogen, as shown in this research paper. While suppressing estrogen typically helps with boosting testosterone, a sudden drop in your estrogen levels could result in more headaches. For instance, one of the reasons females often experience headaches after ovulating in their menstrual cycle is because of this sudden drop in estrogen. Also, estrogen plays a key role in maintaining joint health. As a man, you may think you need to always focus on lowering estrogen while maximizing testosterone, but we do not want to excessively block estrogen. When estrogen levels drop too low, inflammation and cartilage loss can increase. Cartilage is basically the connective tissue between two joints that helps protect your bones. So increased cartilage loss negatively impacts joint health. I'm not sure if it was related to my training or Tongat Ali, but after some months, I also started experiencing a bit more joint pain, specifically in the wrist. Another effect some people reported is that they started to feel more lethargic and fatigued after taking Tongat Ali. This could be related to Tongat Ali's stress relieving effects. As shown in this 2021 paper, Tongat Ali reduces sensation of stress and tension. 
But what if you are already a relaxed individual and you take Tongat Ali? Will you maybe be too relaxed and start feeling fatigued? This is of course just theory and based on people's experiences. The headaches, joint pain and fatigue are not yet scientifically validated side effects. But I mention these possibilities because it is good to be cautious whenever you take a new supplement like Tongat Ali that is not extensively studied. Now, to put you at ease a bit, Tongat Ali is just a herb, just like ginger is a herb. Tongat Ali is not a crazy synthetic compound that has been manufactured in a lab. So I definitely do not want to fear monger about Tongat Ali in this video. I took it for up to 6 months and nothing weird happened with only some wrist pain, which could also be related to me crushing myself with exercises like heavy bench press and shoulder pressing. But considering that the benefits of Tongat Ali are small to begin with, especially for healthy men, I do not see the benefit in continuing to supplement with Tongat Ali long term unless you personally experience really good effects. For an elderly man that has low testosterone and wants to look into natural remedies to help improve testosterone, Tongat Ali is worth trying. But for someone like myself, I am 26 years of age with healthy testosterone and an active lifestyle, Tongat Ali is not really for me. The only time I would consider taking Tongat Ali again is when I know that I have a busy time coming up with my business and I need to be laser focused. Because especially in the first four weeks of taking Tongat Ali, I had good improvements in my productivity. I actually noticed more change in terms of energy levels during my work than during training. But for now, the focus is having a healthy lifestyle without any natural testosterone boosting supplements. And I recommend the same for you. Your testosterone levels are mostly a reflection of your lifestyle. You cannot biohack around only sleeping 5 hours per night and not exercising. If you want healthy testosterone levels, research shows that there are 4 key variables you need to have in place. Sleep 7 to 8 hours per night, lift weights between 3 to 5 times per week, focus on consuming vitamin and mineral rich whole foods, and manage your stress levels throughout the day. No supplement will boost your testosterone more than an actually healthy lifestyle. In fact, most of the testosterone boosting supplements available do not work in the first place. A recent research review supports this by showing that the majority of so-called testosterone boosting supplements actually do not increase testosterone levels. An exception mentioned in this study was Tongat Ali, but then only for elderly men, as I mentioned previously in this video. Another supplement called Silajit, which is a mineral that is found in the rocks of the Himalayas, produced a small benefit as well. What is interesting about Silajit is that it has positive testosterone effects on healthy men, a benefit Tongat Ali did not have. What do you think? Should I make a video about Silajit next? Let me know if you're interested in learning more. But for now, I'm signing off. I want to leave you with a very interesting video about how ashwagandha impacts your testosterone levels. You can click here above and check that out. I want to thank you for your support as usual. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. And we'll see you in the next one.